Leo, welcome to your mid-month reading for June. What's up? What's going on? Show me, Leo. Like always, take it resonates, leave it does not. If there's more than one energy clearly apparent to you on this board today, then reverse those energies as you see fit. These are, after all, general collective readings, not one-to-one -one private, which is to say they may not resonate at all. Frustrating, but normal. Check out the placements. You will find yourself in there somewhere. Show me, Leo. What's going on, please? Show me, Leo. Show me, Leo. Show me, Leo. Cool. Two of Cups, Three of Pentacles. Mm hmm. Share it. Okay. Cool. Two of Pentacles, the Magician. Ace of Swords, okay, okay. Justice, Ace of Cups, the Five of Wands. Now this is frustrating. This is very, very frustrating because you thought, and I thought too, that things were getting better between you and somebody else, a little more cooperative. Dang it. Sorry, it's frustrating. I hate it when people show me things like this. Oh, we're working it out. We're getting on the same page. And I had every reason to believe it. You did too. Uh, two of Cups, Three of Pentacles, the Chariot. Yeah. I mean, you know, three of pentacles, let's agree on the basics. Um, for instance, that you and I are on the same page. Let's start from there and express ourselves thusly. So I'm seeing a rededicated effort to harmonize with somebody and kind of get on the same page, work from the same script, whatever that is. I'm not interpreting that as friendship. It could do. It could be a dedicated effort to focus on the basics that would constitute friendship. But I'm seeing it again, literally as the building blocks of let's start from here. And the starting here point, Three of Pentacles, let's, you and I put a little more work on the fundamentals of sharing a harmonized cup. We love each other. Let's recognize that. Let's work with this. It's coming across de as the definition. Let's work with this. You and I have a lot in common. We know how to get on the same page. Let's do that. The chariot. Let's move it forward. I'm going to do my best. You do your best. Okay, but let's, let's work on the basics. Let's focus on the basics of being harmonized. Yeah? Cool. Same page. Same page efforts. Woohoo. It's not a lot... It's not, but I think that was the point, that we can fundamentally do the basics here. Could be with a strong connection. I don't know. We'll see. Two of Pentacles, the Magician, the Ace of Swords. You're getting mixed results for what looks like, hey, okay, we both agreed to cooperate a little more, to love each other a little better, to express ourselves. Not a lot, right? We shouldn't need too much here. And there's something about that that actually felt like a, a strong conviction. That, that It should be simple between us. Yeah, that's the idea. A two of Pentacles, the Magician, the Ace of Swords. You're like, now I'm kind of regretting summoning this because it, it, it just it looks like a, a manifestation you wish you could cut out because you're getting hot and cold results. More along the lines of, though, do I want to continue to participate in this? So I don't know when you two knocked out this agreement. Um, we're not in cancer season yet with the chariot there. We're on our way to it. I think you're going to start seeing the results, though, by Cancer season. Okay. Two of Pentacles, the Magician, the Ace of Swords. It's kind of like, I'm not so sure about this now. The results aren't consistent. Therefore, your desire of it or the manifestation of it, you're starting to rethink that. When it's talked between you and someone else about, let's get on the same page. You know, let's focus on the basics. Um, let's agree to get along. We know what we stand for, you know? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there can be a temporary of inflation of agreement, as I would call it. But it can fall off the page really quickly if someone's not determined to keep at it as a practiced habit. And that's what you two are talking about, practiced habits of loving and mutual respect, something like this. Justice, Eight of Cups, the Five of Wands. No, 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 that's far from being fair. No, I was still under 10 minutes, though. So. Jack. <laughs> Justice, Eight of Cups, the Five of Wands. In fact, no, 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 no. We're trying to make something right. We're trying to reduce argument. We are trying to reduce tension. We're trying not to get emotionally invested in an argument or ongoing argument, but it's getting really hard to balance this thing. Because on the surface, on the, the page, the proposition, it seemed easy. But when it's time to put this into practice or theory, things are starting to fall apart. Can we actually get out of the talking phase of you and I cooperating and getting along and 
be more consistent about it, be more believable. Okay, what's up? Let's see that two of cups. By the way, I may not clarify all these. We'll know as we move along. Let's see that two of cups. Two of Cups, guys, is super simple. It may not be as fancy as the Six of Cups. It may not be an Ace of Cups, which is more like in love. But it's supposed to be super simple. So I agree with you about the basics here being applied with the Three of Pentacles. You know, maybe you two are going through a hard patch or you somebody's constantly checked out and there's always arguments. Okay, and I can definitely see where you'd have a cooperative agreement like this. Like, can we just agree to get along a little better? Hmm? And mean it with the chariot. Let's work on that. Should be a super simple goal, y'all. Let's do that two of cups and that two of cups. You, you just chill. I'll get to you, two of pentacles. Nobody likes you. <laughs> That's me though. I don't like the two of pentacles. I just, I don't know. I'm a decided kind of person. Yes or no? Yeah or nay? You in, you out, bro. Sis. Is it? Now, if you're working a couple of gigs, I respect that. But that's the monetary world. That's business transaction. This is... Mm, something we shouldn't have to play hot foot with, you know? All right, let's see the two of cups, please. The sun, king of wands, that's you. Six of swords, see? There is that recognition. Right, there you are. Boom. Can't mistake your energy, right? There it is, loud and proud, like always. It's that Lena, it's sunshine, ah, and six of swords. You felt yourself and this union drifting away from each other. You felt it, you saw it, you're not stupid, okay? You wanted to do the opposite. You wanted to bring it back in. The six of swords is not an automatic condition of having left something or someone behind. The idea is, is that I want calmer waters and I feel like you and I are drifting apart. We're not on the same page. Ergo, my interpretation. Okay, you felt the drifting. That doesn't mean there was a permanent drift. Okay, we just felt the, the drift, particularly as it relates to the emotional harmony. You know what, this is between us. I know how I feel about you, you know how I feel about me. Let's, let's bring it back, let's bring it back in. Here you are being the coach. Let's bring it back in, right? I wanna feel good about this again. You and I have drifted. I know that, I see it, I recognize it, no problem. I got this, and there's your energetic ID. I got this, boom, stamp, there's Leo. You feel good about this with the sun out. You think that you two can honestly achieve this, and I don't blame you. Uh, what you put forward makes sense to me. I'm going to do that chart first. And then if I have further questions, three of pentacles. Okay. Let's go to that chariot, please. Show me the chariot. Show me the chariot. There's that nasty little two of cups again. Someone's not entirely sure that this is what they want. That's for somebody. Let's see that chariot, please. Some of the chariot, some of the chariot, some of the chariot. I'm trying to put this in a relatable context. That way you can figure out if it's for you, because even the vagueness irritates me sometimes. Let's say you two, these two folks, have a very long history of not picking, let's say you both always want to go to the movies, but neither one of you picks the same movie ever. You always want to see something. They always want to see it, and it's never the same. And let's say you have years in history of lightly arguing about it. We always got to see what you want to see. Well, you whatever you want to see sucks, whatever. Let's say there's a back and forth like that, and it, that's the never-ending story of your two's particular argument. And let's say you had enough of those that you two finally drifted apart, <laughs> okay? And it's like, look, 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 look. This is ridiculous, okay? I'll agree to see what you want, and the next time we see what I want, and then we'll switch off and we'll try to cooperate better. And the other person's like, cool, let's do that. Except we couldn't stick to the agreement. <laughs> Over a very simple idea. So take that in the greater scheme of things of the metaphor for what's going on in the actual relationship. We're not sticking to the let's agree to get along thing that you two are trying to come to terms with. The chariot. Let's see that chariot, some of the chariot. I'm not focusing on them or they, I'm just looking at you and your reaction. I just see someone else is there. 
and then on the receiving end of this and contributing to it in some way, yes. Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, the Magician. See, look at you. Clearly, you were clearly manifesting. Eight of Wands, Eight of Pentacles. You see? You're like, I'm all on board. Leo's all on board. I'm all in on this. Chariot, let's move it forward. We got a plan. Let's put the plan in place. We got a plan. Put the plan in place. Let's stick to the plan. And you mean it. This is, I mean it, energy. Okay? Very respectable. Beautiful. Your best intentions, communications, actions. You're like, I'm all about this. I got this. You got this. You do. You do. You're like, let's move it forward. You got the pentacles in order. I got the work in order. Work order's in. Let's do this. Let's knock it out. Okay? Let's hit three of pentacles. Let's see what's actually happening in reality. Because there's your intention right there. You mean it. I know you mean it. Okay? Your word is as good as your bond here. Let's hit three of pentacles. You're like, I mean it. I totally mean it. I'm all in. Let's do this thing, right? You have the practiced effort and skill to put your weight into this. Three of Pentacles. Show it. Three of Pentacles. Oh, I will get to you. Hush. See that Three of Pentacles, please? Ten of Swords, Four of Wands, Page of Pentacles. Ten of Swords, Four of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. So here we have what looks like a kind of neglected, let's call it for what it is, a little bit of a neglected relationship. Uh, duh. Where do you think this agreement? I told you, I know a friendship when I see it, this weren't that. The approach was telling me you two have drifted and you're trying to find common ground again, okay, to get back on each other's respective pages. You are all in. Your energy made that very clear to me. You're all in, bruh, sis. Best intentions in mind. I love this. I know how to throw the best of myself into it. I got it. Okay. Someone's taken a little longer to catch up, even though, on theory, they agreed with you. Their energy's lagging behind a little bit. Uh, they're still kind of stuck on the soreness of that relationship and how it's gotten a little neglected, a little shoddy. You're showing me I want solutions, and they're kind of hanging back in, but there's still the problem, and you're like, I know, that's why I'm putting forward the solutions, and I mean it. And you're like, yeah, yeah, but they're still kind of taking stock of the neglect, okay? So you are definitely that energy that's like, uh, okay, I recognize the problem. Here's the solutions. Boom, boom, boom. And we're coming up against that kind of classic energy. Well... I'm still kind of hung up on what's wrong. But yes, I agree to go along with your plan. I really want them to catch up to where you are in terms of that sincerity. Um, it, you seem to be very anxious to prove yourself and your dedication in this and how you can knock at them repairs with good feeling, intensity, uh, passion, ambition to drive all that. I completely believe you because you believe you. You really mean it. No bullshit. You've shown me that. I love that. I respect that. That they're still kind of hanging back on, well, do you see how much you've neglected the relationship, though? But it should be we. It takes two. <laughs> okay? It takes two. So there is pain here in that uh, four of wands does not necessarily mean marriage. I knew it wasn't a friendship, but it may not be a marriage. So just to qualify, a relationship is literally how two people build it. No two relationships are the same. So it's however you qualify it, but it's your own particular memories and efforts and Everything else that goes into a standard four of wands. Okay, so however you recognize this relationship, they had a part to play in it too. And they're saying not enough was put into this. It's been neglected. Is there any surprise why we're not on the same page? You're like, I know, that's why I'm trying to fix it. Solutions. Let's keep it solutions focused. I understand. And I'm already doing the heavy side thing. I just... Because they agreed. They agreed. They agreed, but they're kind of still focusing more on the problem. Okay? When you're trying to solve it, or help solve it, I believe. Let's jump on over here to that two of pentacles. Oh, well, I've been wanting to talk this whole time. Okay. And like I said, now you're kind of like, I'm 
You're wondering if you regret this decision? You'll be getting the results soon enough or saying this for yourself soon enough. Okay, uh, your conviction is such that I, I don't disbelieve you at all. Not at all. I know that Leo stamp when I see it, okay? Trust me, you, you're stamping all over this, all right? Um, I just want them to catch up to where you are. I understand that, that sometimes the sourness lingers and the disappointment lingers and that sense of, well, you really let this relationship down, but it's, it's a we. Okay, I understand that lingers, but that's the whole point of having solutions. All right? It's not enough to point out the problems. If uh, two people really want to put in the work, they will. Okay? So I, I really want them to catch up to where you are. I do. I admire this kind of sincere effort. I really do. I, I, it's admirable. Okay? All right. Two of Pentacles, some of that Two of Pentacles, some of that Two of Pentacles. Temperance, Nine of Wands, the Ace of Pentacles. It's kind of like, why isn't this taking effect, though? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's the resistance to treat this as a new opportunity is incredibly high. So again, I have, again, I'm not focusing on them or they either. I'm just seeing the reality of it catch up to you. I know fundamentally someone agreed. Okay. This is how we're going to treat each other from now on. We're both going to agree to go back and forth and pick each other's respective movies. Metaphor for the relationship. Except it's not working out that way. It's kind of like saying, well, when I look back at our history, you actually owe me several movies worth. So let's do what I want to do for the next several months or so. When you two just agreed to terms... To get on the same page and cooperate a little better. And I think you're trying to go along with it. <laughs> I do. <laughs> you're saying it's, 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 this is harder to heal and fix than I had imagined. It's a little more one-sided. Okay. Um, it's it's kind of like, well, if you want to take steps forward, we're going to have to take some back. Because there's resistance here too treating this as a clean slate opportunity, okay? The authentic gestures there at the Ace of Pentacles to put real work into this, but it's being, it's coming across as, as one-sided, okay? A little bit, at least for now. Uh, it's like someone saying, yeah, well, you know, prosperous future, you got to pay back taxes. So there is something like that in here. Um, I, I, if two people are going to have that kind of clean slate agreement, they really need to jump in from the present and move forward. But like I said, if someone's still holding on to the problems and not focusing on the solution, they're still very much invested in taking several steps back in order to understand their present, which is what I'm saying. I really wanted them to catch up to, to you and your beautiful effort. So it's frustrating um, to say, like, let's draw a line in the sand. And you bravely, boldly, and with beautiful intent step up to that line, join me on the other side. And they're like, actually, yes, but... I'm going to take 10 steps backwards, which means you do too to compensate for whatever the perceived neglect is to catch up to the new opportunity. So I don't know if this is supposed to be a test on this person's part to see if you really mean it. If, if all that translates to is how much will you put up with until I'm happy, that's, it's not really a test. Anybody who says they're testing someone, they're automatically not in the position to be giving anyone a test. Anyone who I've ever met said, well, I'm testing them or I'm testing that. Oh, honey, you're not in a position to be the teacher. Um, you're not. It's very gross, narcissistic thinking to say, well, I'm testing them. Mm, you're not qualified to give the test, baby. You're not. There's nothing about you that is spiritually, emotionally, or mentally superior. So it's one of those things where... <laughs> Don't step up and say that you're going to cooperate if you don't mean it, especially if you're going to backslide and make it harder for the other person to achieve the goals you both apparently agreed on. It, they do look like they're looking for compensation and not staying focused on the solution, which drives me crazy. If you've ever tried to have a cooperative agreement with somebody, 
I like this is where I want to move from this point forward. And I was like, yeah. No, but yeah. Yeah, but no, no, but yeah, yeah, totally, but no, yeah, no. I think I should be giving a little extra. I don't, you see what I'm saying? I'm frustrated, I'm frustrated for you. I'm frustrated for you. Of course, um, I knew that Two of Pentacles was jumping for a reason. Yeah, 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 it's resistance to healing this and making it fair. And it's kind of no wonder you're like, I'm starting to regret the sincerity of my manifestation. I'm gonna jump over to that Ace of Swords. I've already seen your magician. Once more, if I have more questions, I'll go back and take a look at him. Or her, regardless. Let's take a look at the Ace of Swords. Show me the Ace of Swords. I get it, there's a lot of hurt and owies, but how can we possibly help somebody with their hurts and owies if they want us to pay more instead of catching up equally? It's 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 hard. It's it how can you possibly work together on something with the best interest of healing if Someone won't agree, but kind of agrees on the plan, but not really. Uh, it really takes the focus away from healing and intentionality and things lose their speed and they lose their interest and they lose their emotional punch and their, that kind of thing. Okay. Let's see that Ace of Swords. Ace of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands. Yeah, you are starting to lose your drive for these feelings of newness. Hope, specifically, with the Ace of Wands and Sense of Love with the Ace of Cups. Ace of Swords, your, 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 your truth is starting to turn into a direction of... It's always going to feel... I'm not saying that is. It's just your mind's turning in that direction. It's starting to feel like a case of abandonment here. That there is no recovering the passion. Hope, specifically light the path and that there may not be a chance to recover the in love feeling as well with the ace of cups so you really are trying to put in a phenomenal sense of renewal effort in this relationship by insisting on the basics they agreed and they can't seem to meet the agreement which is putting you in shadows of doubt i don't blame you at all um that's why i really don't want people to agree to something that they're not prepared to agree to it's I want to see if the direction of your manifestation is indeed shifting because your truth is changing and I don't blame you for that. Um, let's take a look at that. Show me the magician. I don't see you getting the results you want, but it's not about the results that you want. It's just the kind of the results you both agreed to aim towards. Um... So if they want interest or compensation for hurt or disappointment in the relationship, I would tell this person again once more it takes two. And I see you doing your part in that space of it takes two. And I don't see them joining you there. Now without a lot of resistance, back and forth. I don't know why they agreed to it. They didn't seem to be prepared to live up to their side of the agreement. Ace of Swords being reinforced over here. The Seven of Cups. The Page of Wands. See, for now, you're showing me, for now, I'm going to continue to pull in the best I can with my original intent. You're trying to keep yourself open towards this, but that Ace of Swords is starting to shift a little bit. What it is you know. And it's it's... What it is you know, your truth, you're trying to remain open towards this and manifesting the best possible results, as you said that you would. You're getting a lot of blockage and resistance, and it is turning your truth a wee bit. Is this an abandonment of hope and passion and love, or what? You're not getting the results that you were hoping for, okay? Despite your sincerity. Um, if, you know, guys, god dang it, I hate it when people agree to shit that they don't mean. 
because then you will always get the results that you never You always get the results that's the opposite of what you agreed to. If you don't really believe in it, you want to make someone else pay. You're not willing to see things in a positive light or move forward. Cool. No one can make you, but then don't agree to it either. Because then you're just as false as anything else. God dang it. Let's, let's jump on down here to Justice, Eight of Cups, and the Five of Wands. Show me justice, please. Man, I haven't seen anybody work this hard in renewal effort to bring back the sincerity of the thing, the emotionality, the passion. But your truth is beginning to turn. And unless they step up more to assist you, and again, once more, relationship that they choose with you. What you are hoping for manifesting might shift too. Show me justice, show me justice, show me justice. I mean, do they want this or not? Do they want to step up to this or not? Show me justice, show me justice, show me justice. Trust me, I've worked with lots of people over the years. So many so many i stopped working with clients years ago that you knew they weren't ready it's no different than entering a relationship or choosing to maintain one or fix it like you're doing i believe you are after a while you develop a keen sense about who's ready to do the work and who isn't and i was not the counselor that you worked with if you weren't ready i would always defer them to someone who is more of an entry level i only worked with those clients who were ready to jump in and do the work and it's like they want to, but with a lot of resistance. In other words, not sure. Two of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, the Hierophant. There is what now is keeping these folks in check as a sense of commitment. But someone has begun to question their sense of self-worth. For right now, we're choosing to stand up to this, but it's getting difficult. They're saying it's the right thing to do with justice. I should fight for this, right? I should fight for this. I'm seeing commitment here. I'm seeing a sense of comfort here. I am seeing the sense of legally and contractually, it's correct. But someone has begun to question their sense of self-worth in this commitment. Okay? Standing by it with a sense of justification and commitment. But the self-worth here is in question. Okay? Eight of Cups, some of the Eight of Cups, some of the Eight of Cups. Mm. I'm going to need more than while well, I'm in a commitment to justify my actions or inactions. I just, I don't play along with that because the motivation is not going to be strong enough. You think a legal contract is going to motivate someone into feeling good about their relationship again? No. You default to a piece of paper to keep you from separating. It doesn't sound like it's a very good commitment. If you need a piece of paper to tell you to stay in place, but hey, everything else is up for grabs or not. <laughs> eight of Cups, some of the Eight of Cups, some of the Eight of Cups. That's why everything begins with the self. I hate it when people agree to shit they don't mean. It drives me crazy. But then they're like, oh, but I'm here though, technically and legally. Oh, good for you. Aren't you accomplished? The world, Seven of Wands, the sun. I know, I know. The more you experience resistance, the more you can feel your, your emotions thinning towards this. And I don't blame you. Your sense of sun here is in jeopardy, um, making this a happy union, functioning union. It's, it's wearing thin on you. It's wearing thin on you. But I still see you upholding that sense of, uh, I will not cycle this at this time. I won't, I won't, I won't. Emotionally, you're rejecting this more and more as it continues to give reason to do so. And therefore, your efforts towards this and the sincerity that backs it is waning. Your willingness, in other words, to be emotionally available to this and emotionally invested in it has gotten really thin. 
you still feel there might be a crack at happiness at this, even though you seem to have evidence by now where it's not going and not repairing. Keep that in mind. So while I admire that sense of, you know what, this is mine, I gotta fight for it, I'm assuming that's you, you don't seem to be happy. And I don't think it's just you. No, of course not. As I said from the beginning, it takes two. There's a lot of fighting here now. Five of Wands, though. Let's see that Five of Wands. Let's see that Five of Wands. Put it this way, when it comes to things like contracts and commitments and the right thing to do, <clears throat> well, legally, at least here in the United States, uh, children under the age of 18 are required by law to go to school. Yep, just because they're going to school and technically it can be counted for on paper doesn't mean they're learning a damn thing. So let's keep that in mind. Apply that to life. Having the comfort of saying I'm choosing this because it's not really a choice, it's a commitment doesn't mean it's happy, healthy, or constructive. I know you wanted it to be, honey. All right, let's see that five of wands, please. This is so frustrating. Queen of Swords, Two of Pentacles. God dang that Two of Pentacles. I just want it to go away. You're getting more results every day that this person really had no sense of stepping into that arena with you as equals. Your optimism is beautiful, admirable too. The way you threw yourself into it because you meant it. It's like, this is where I draw a line. Will you join me here? And they're like, yeah, I'll join you there if you take 20 steps back. Now it's 20 instead of 10. Whatever this is, this person doesn't seem to want to dig deep to give you in equal what you're trying to give to it. And I have a huge problem with that. I have a huge problem with that. I hate it when I see the best of somebody being disused, cast aside, underappreciated, devalued, or not taken seriously, because you had all that in spades. What people in terror watch for is what you have given this situation. And a lot of people, they, they tune in hoping to see half as much for themselves, and you're throwing the best of you into this, and you're not getting it back. That Two of Pentacles is still a problem. It's still wreaking havoc. They're not meeting you in the same space. I don't know why they bothered to agree with you. They didn't mean it. They keep trying to reinforce the thing that made it difficult and miserable to begin with in that relationship. So this is that person. It's another version of having your cake and eat it too. I always need something to complain about and be mad and upset with because then I might have to rise above it and I don't want to do that. No matter how much you th try to throw yourself into it, if someone wants to do very little, the bare minimum, or make someone else pay, or just be unhappy, they can and they will. And I'm so sorry. But you have free will in this. You have choice. I see that beautiful energy and dedication turn increasingly sour, negative, angry, and you keep trying to distance yourself from it. You remember that opening when you said, I recognize you and I are drifting? Is this the same shit that caused it to begin with? And you're just going full circle with it? Be careful with those renewal energies, guys. You can have the best intentions for it, but it doesn't mean a hill of beans if the person you're trying to renew with is just like full circle, though. That means you literally go back to your point of origin. Let's just renormalize it to where you and I are garbage people. And we constantly pick on each other and make each other generally miserable. But hey, we're committed. <laughs> committed to making each other miserable. Frustrated. I want that to go to someone who can appreciate the difference between you and I working on something that's not easy, but we're doing our best because we are using that language. We are doing our best to, well, we're back to right where we started. This is how you and I drifted to begin with. What kills me, though, is your real genuine effort. And then your manifestation starts to shift. Well, I guess I'll keep pulling this in. I'm going to hope for the best, but my mind has started to turn that this might not be 
ever fully connected. Guys, you don't have to keep choosing this. I really, here's just that opposition. It's so cold and so shut down. and says, this is how it has to be. And this is what I'm used to. Okay. We tried to get along. We tried to make it work, but it's not. So let's just go to our default mode. They didn't at all. Where's the reciprocity? All I see was like, oh, the resistance, the resistance. Two of Pentacles, someone's still not throwing themselves into this. But they agreed to it and that pisses me off. So if I were you, honey, hold them to that. You can't make them. But I want you to see it for yourself when you try to stick them to their agreement. See how they squirm and get out of it and give excuses. How many more step backwards do you need before you can kind of finally catch up to where I am and we can be a we, a healthy we? Or are you just going to get more excuses? Hmm? I hate this. I hate this for you. I want that opening to apply to someone who gives a damn. God, it pisses me off. Ugh. No, this is not the long term. This is the immediate upfront results. I told you you're going to continue to see it, and I think upwards to Libra season. Okay? Possibly Leo season. You don't have to keep doing this, honey. You get to choose your level of participation. And I know you chose the highest level of participation you could. They didn't choose it. Otherwise, you would have clear, unquestionable results. And I wouldn't be saying this. I would be looking at two people who learned to love each other again, that learned to trust each other again, to not go out of their way to make the other person upset, angry, miserable, or just feeling rejected and dejected. And we wouldn't have to default to, well, the commitment, so. It would have so much more weight, substance, and meaning than that shark survival power. Yeah. Don't care for that. Survival power. Um, power plays. I want things on my terms. Um, I just feel like you're being attacked all the time. Again, is that worthy of you? Okay. Well, the wisdom keeper. You're not. You're more knowledgeable than this. And here we have the energy of the hermit. <clears throat> but the wisdom keeper. I, I. What you can do is sizable, and you know a great deal. Okay. I think you know what to expect from this. Yeah, cat. Jealousy, meanness, smallness, getting away. It's kind of like this. doesn't really matter. It's like, well, if I can't have fun, you can't either. What is that? If I'm not happy, you can't be either. If I don't want to give the best of myself and I want to slink out of this, I I. I I don't like this. What? This envy. Why do they envy you so much? They could do what you were doing if they chose it appropriately. They don't want you to have any new opportunities for yourself. You know those aces can be converted into new opportunities, right? Do they envy you for that? They don't want you to have a new opportunity. No, no, no. But they don't want to give you the best either. So, what? Remind you of your commitment? Keeps you in place. Right? I don't want you, but I don't want anyone else to have you either. Is that the bullshit we're looking at today? You see those aces as renewal. They don't want you to see them as new beginnings. And if I was this uncooperative, I wouldn't want you to see new beginnings for you either. I just... I hate that. Going back to square one. God dang it, that pisses me off. 30... God dang it, I'm 40 minutes. There's no way I'm redoing this one. There's no way. <laughs> we'll check up on you in a couple weeks. I may not see you the same, Leo. I hope not. Um, I would... 
Honestly, if I were you, though, this is me. I would start thinking a little bit more about your own self-interest. Okay, the big masculine glasses. There we go. Okay. The letter E, the letter R, the maple leaf, the turning of the leaves. Something about leaves being significant last fall or this upcoming fall. And then the anchor. You know, you can interpret that in a couple ways. Emotional stability. Or stuckness. Leo, I know this one's frustrating. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? So be glad if you don't resonate with it and that's not yours. Good. Don't ever accept a reading that's not yours. It's very simple. So don't make it more complicated than it is. For those of you who do resonate, that sense of stuckness and you wanting to do something about it, bravo to you. You're going to continue to accumulate proof for the Leo I'm looking at and only for the Leo I'm looking at over the next several months about how what they agreed to, they didn't mean it. What are you going to do with that when that knowledge comes to fruition? Okay. If the best of your intentions and efforts didn't work, would it continue to do so? If a second and third chance, etc. Okay. I hope this helped you regardless. Put in the comments. Take care. Be well.